Now, TEPCO officials have struggled to stop the flow ever since the accident at the plant two years ago. They say radioactive strontium and cesium may have been leaking into the ocean since May 2011. TEPCO officials say 30 trillion becquerels of the radioactive materials may have flowed down to the shore. That's well beyond the in-house annual emission limit of 220 billion becquerels. Cesium and strontium are easily absorbed into soil, so the officials say it's hard to determine the exact amount that got out. Officials at the International Atomic Energy Agency have been tracking developments at the plant. They've expressed their concerns. The people at the world's nuclear watchdog issued a statement saying they view the matter seriously and they're ready to provide assistance. They say Japanese authorities are supplying them with information and experts at the agency are following the issue closely. People in South Korea are worried about how the water seeping from Daiichi might affect them. Officials in Seoul have asked their Japanese counterparts for detailed information about the leak. The officials want to know how much water is leaking, how contaminated it is, and what impact it's having on the ecosystem. They say South Koreans are growing concerned about the safety of seafood imported from Japan. The officials say they've been briefed on the situation three times since late July, but the explanations were insufficient. They say they may send their own experts if necessary. Fishermen in areas of northeastern Japan hit by the tsunami two years ago are tipping the scales with their catch. They've already caught twice as many mackerel as they caught last year. The fishermen brought three boats into the port of Funato or loaded up with fish. They quickly transferred the mackerel into containers full of ice. People at the market reported the catch totaled 3,040 tons, nearly double the harvest of last August. Auctioneers are flogging the mackerel at almost a dollar per kilogram. The average for this time of year, fishermen said their catch is bound to revitalize the local economy. Agriculture officials are out to prove Japanese cuisine is healthy. They're looking to sell more produce and food items abroad. And they plan to ask the government for more than $10 million to do it. The officials want scientists to confirm that eating the national fare can help prevent obesity. They're thinking of conducting experiments with people on a Japanese diet. They say they'll also work with universities and hospitals to monitor elderly people who usually eat Japanese food. They want to identify menu items that offer health benefits. The officials say they'd use the findings to encourage people abroad to eat more Japanese fare. They hope the push will yield big results as the cuisine is already popular with health-conscious consumers around the world. Health professionals in northeastern Japan are suspicious about a trend they're seeing after the nuclear accident there two years ago. The normal incidence rate of thyroid cancer in children is one in hundreds of thousands. But 18 children in Fukushima Prefecture have been diagnosed among a population of about 2 million. A panel is examining the impact of radiation on residents. Health professionals are giving checkups to all 360,000 children aged 18 or younger at the time of the accident at Fukushima Daiichi. Radioactive substances released in the accident can accumulate in children's thyroid glands, possibly increasing their risk of developing cancer. Health professionals had tested 210,000 children by the end of July. On top of the 18 minors they diagnosed, they suspect 25 others may have the illness. Members of the panel say they can't determine if the accident has affected the rate of cancer among children. They've decided to set up a team of experts to look into the situation. 